Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, my name's Ink Eyes. Uh, welcome to Frost. Um, Frost is a survival solo card game. It's inspired by deck building board games like Dominion, Ascension, and you know, titles like that. And it's a unique take on the genre as it puts you in charge of a group of people struggling against a relentless, lethal, cold storm. And this game is by a uh, the artist and developer's name is uh, Jero um, Jerome Bodine, if I'm saying that correctly, and it's published by Studio De Tenebre. And um, it's it's obviously an indie game, and uh, it's on Steam. I'll put the, all the information, all the links that you guys need down below in the description. It's going for six ninety nine right now. It's uh, it's a very interesting game. I've I, I would love to show it to you guys have a few runs with you guys and uh, I've I've beaten the game once already on uh, the only difficulty available to you in the beginning is easy I beat it on easy mediums opened up to me it's a difficult game it's a very unique game it's it's a very challenging game it's actually very clever uh, you might think it's very simple but it's not I mean there is there is very um, it's it's very intricate in its simplicity I should say. Uh, you also unlock scenarios as you play and as you beat the game. Uh, I have a scenario where I can be a leader of a family. But, you know, before I go into that, all that stuff, let's let's go into the tutorial so you guys have an idea how it works and how it plays. And I gotta say, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the artwork, of the music. Frost is a card deck management game. Uh, you start with a limited set of resource cards. The goal of the game is to reach the refuge by traveling through various regions. Use resource cards on a region card to fulfill the requirements. This is a region card, so you want to use your resource cards uh, to, you know, fulfill what's what the region card wants you to fulfill. And uh, what does it say? Click your resources and click the region card. So basically you dump like, you know, your food into your your food requirement, your wood, and your survivor. Once you fulfill the region requirement, you're allowed to travel and we can go forward. Now here's the thing. The frost is a lethal storm that's always behind you. Every time you end your turn without traveling, the frost gets closer, uh, and you, and, what, decrement the frost counter. So basically, the, the frost counter goes down every time that you, uh, you, you end the turn without traveling forward. And you have eight steps, basically, to be ahead of the, the, the frost storm. You'll see. You'll see what I mean. Every time you travel, you outdistance the frost and add one to the frost counter. In a normal game... You lose when the frost counter reaches zero. In this tutorial, you won't lose. Alright, cool. Scavenging is a basic action that uses one survivor card to add a card to your current hand. Try it by clicking a survivor and then the highlighted button. So basically, aside from, you know, using your cards to fulfill the regional requirements, you can also send your survivors to, to scavenge for you. And scavenging can bring um, food material like wood it can also find other survivors but it, there's also a risk of fatigue so let's see what happens we found food scavenging is the simplest way to find survivors food and materials but you risk drawing a fatigue card or worse your survivors can die try to use what, what you've learned to travel through a couple of regions now all right cool so we're gonna we're gonna fulfill the food requirement we're gonna travel it looks it, it looks and plays very simple right now, but but you'll see how it gets so difficult. And then I'll tell you the true way you should be looking at the game and how you should be playing it because um, well we'll get there. Try to use what you've learned. Oh yeah, we, we're just using. All right, so we're gonna send people to scavenge. We're gonna find food. That's great. Uh, we don't need wood. Uh, Alright, let's put food in there. So now that we've run out of uh, cards that can help us and we have two fatigue cards. Fatigue cards are useless, they're just malices. Um, we need to end a turn because we need, to, we need to draw a new hand of cards to continue fulfilling the regional requirements. And we have 17 more 
uh, you know, regions to travel through. And eight is still the number of counters that we have before the frost kills us. So we're going to end. It's going to take down to seven. We're going to draw a new hand of five. And that always happens. Your hand is always discarded at the end of the turn. And uh, you draw five new cards. And we're going to do survivors and going to travel. The region mountains region. All right. The rest action allows you to remove all fatigue cards from your hand. So if I press rest, I get rid of the fatigue cards. And you can see that I have five fatigue cards in my entire deck. And my deck is really small. And that's not a joke. Rest takes your whole turn, meaning that it's no longer available from the moment you use any of your cards. Meaning if I if I rest, uh, it ends a turn, takes my cards away. It This thing takes down, but at least a fatigue... The one that I'm holding goes away, or if I'm holding multiple ones. Try to rest now. <laughs> Woo! That went away. We drew new cards. This this hand also has another one of the fatigue cards that we have in the entire deck. Uh, the frost counter takedown, so we're one step closer to our you know frosty death. You draw an event card every time you travel. Events can be trades or contests. So basically, they're either going to be battles or they're going to be events where you can trade. And that happens every time you press a travel. Once you fulfill your regional uh, requirements and click the travel, every time you do that, you get an event. Now, let's see what events do. You can spend resources on trade. Events that basically, you know, do an exchange for an effect. So this one, get you can give food to get a survivor. But you can right-click on the event to learn more. Try to travel another couple of times. Alright, so if you right click on it, it tells you exactly what's going on. This is a trade event. It allows you to exchange resources with others. Trade cost is pay one of the indicated resource to trigger the trade. And the trade effect is you'll get this in exchange. And what is this? This is add survivors. Add X survivor cards to your hand. So if it doesn't have a number next to it, it means just one. Otherwise, it would say like two or three. Now... Here's the biggest and most important thing to keep in mind when playing the game is that, or there are two of them, but one is knowing the difference between using and removing, like using and spending. So if, if any action in the game, you see it has a line crossing the item, this means that it's going to be removed. So, if you use a card, if I use a food card, which I don't have in my hand for this trade here, that food card is burned. It's gone. I will never have it again. I can never use it again. I have given it away permanently. But anything that doesn't have a line crossing it, including regional requirements and scavenging requirements and other things that you will see, if you're just using a card, that that doesn't burn your card so that goes into a discard pile that then once after you're, you've used all the cards in your deck you reshuffle all of those back into your hand so they may be gone temporarily but you will regain them after the end of the turn so I'll show you exactly what that the how that works as well and another thing the second thing to keep in mind if you want to have a successful game is your stock and looking at your stock is very important because it it gives you an idea of what you have in your deck. If you're very low on wood, you don't want to go burning all your wood if if you have, you know, things that take away your wood cards from your deck. You want to actually go and do things and maybe just use them temporarily and give them back to you. Or send people out to, uh, you know, scavenge for more things. But anyway... So we're going to try to fulfill this. It's asking us, it's basically telling us to travel another couple of times, a couple of other regions, and we'll do that. So uh, you want to be smart with your resources. We're going we're gonna to dump in the wood in here. We're going to have the two survivors also go here. We're going to end the turn. We're going to get a new hand to see, to see how we can fulfill the requirements here. Um, I definitely need to put the food in here. We're going to send this scavenge, this survivor to scavenge for us. Maybe get food for us, but they couldn't get food. But we did get an extra wood or materials card or material card. And you can see that it's, it's added to my stock. So if I do end turn, these cards will be taken out of my hand and they will go right down here on the right side. And that's my like discard pile. And this is my deck here 
bottom left side of my screen you can see like the tip of the cards sticking out and as you can see the cards that i'm putting here for as my requirement fulfillment they are going underneath this regional card they're going stacked right underneath it you can see the cards here um so these all come back and you'll see when they get shuffled in so we'll do this one we'll send a survivor out since we only have three survivors to work with in general we're going to send one of them out to see if we can find another survivor card we didn't but we found another uh, material card and you can see that now it's five so we go to travel i wanted to see if i could get another food to trade for another survivor because we have you know we could, we could use more survivors for, for duties and tasks um okay so this one for example this one says this one is not removing a survivor from my deck the cost of it is just temporary temporary so it says that i can give a survivor at the campsite for a 50 percent chance of getting material and that is going to be necessary actually because we i, I don't have any wood in my hand so i'm going to do this it, it didn't yield anything, but I'm not going to lose my survivor. It's it's temporarily gone <laughs> So we're gonna enter Get a new hand. There we go three Wood see they go away now. It's down to three, but I'll get them back soon. I'm going to travel See now they're back back in my hand. They were shuffled back in um Wolf is a, a contest type event, meaning that if you don't beat it, it will apply its damage when you travel. So remember that. It doesn't apply its damage during the beginning of the turn or during the turn at all. It, only when, even if you end a turn, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt you. If you click travel, that's when it deals damage to you. Right now there's nothing to do about it, so we're just going to try to travel forward. If we had a weapon, we could kill the wolf. So now it's going to deal one blood. It's going to deal one damage to me. I can either have a survivor sacrifice of this damage when I travel. Or I can have this applied to my person. I have four HP basically. And I can withstand four hits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two survivors, two food. And we're going to travel. And it's going to say that, you, hey man, you're going to get, you're going to lose some blood. There's going to be, there will be blood. Damage makes you lose a health point or sacrifice a survivor. You die when you have zero health points. Lose your health point by clicking on the blood drop icon now. So at this point, it wants me to take the damage. I'll take the damage. Ugh. Another wolf here. Still nothing you can do about it. So we're just going to try to continue traveling. So fulfill the requirements. Let's give that guy away too for the cause. End the turn. Another wood. We could use more food and whatnot, so let's send some people out to scavenge We get more food. We get more food. Wow, we're so lucky. We didn't get fatigued. We didn't get dead. <laughs> so we're going to travel. Now, <clears throat> it's telling me that I can sacrifice a survivor to prevent this damage. So we're going to have this damage taken by... The survivor, he's, he's sacrificed, poor guy. Don't judge me, we're just following what the tutorial says. You draw a new set of two idea cards when you travel. You add one every turn you spend in a region. So... Oh, you add one, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so when you, do, when you click travel, you get automatically you get two idea cards above your event card. And if you end your turn and have a new turn without traveling, you get one additional one. But you can only have a maximum of five up here. And these are things, the idea cards, you can actually give away and burn your cards. You can, you can remove them, see, with the, with the line over it, not just temporarily give it away. I actually burn it away from my deck. Uh, and I can get this. And these are like one-time use kind of things. So this is a... a, a I, it, as, as, as a guy or I let's just call it a spear so it's as you can see is probably going to have what we need to fulfill this requirement with the wolf and kill it with the spear so that not me or my survivors are being you know damaged and murdered by this wolf chasing us idea cards are cards that can be added they can be added to my deck by paying their price 
Try to acquire an idea card now. The cost of an idea card is displayed by the, by, by the icons on the top right corner. Here it's barred, meaning your resource will be removed, not just used. There's, like I said, there's differences. Just, just remember this. There's a difference between removing a resource and using a resource. Removing is gone forever. Using is temporary just until you get you know reshuffled. So we're going to take the spear... Now, use your weapon to beat the wolf, fulfill the region requirement, and travel. So, we're going to use the spear. We're going to kill the wolf. Then, we need four food and one survivor. We don't have that. We're going to uh, end the turn. We're still taking down. We're at six. We still have 12 regions to travel through before we beat the game, actually. Uh, we're going to put the one food in here one survivor let's go out and see what we can find we found it on the survivor card all right perfect travel all right so no so no bad evil wolf to deal damage to us this time some idea cards have two possible effects basic effect on top and activated effect on the bottom try to zoom in on an available idea card by right clicking on it so this is one of those two part cards so if you were to to cut it in half uh, this fire idea card you can either you first you have to give it the price to acquire it So for first we have to burn a material card to take this and put it into our deck And then in order to use it if we click the top half of it over here It's going to draw us a card from our deck If we drag over another wood once this is in our hand if we dra drag another piece of material on it onto the bottom part of it and activate the bottom part, we draw three cards. This is a very good card. I'm definitely going to take it, but let's let's right click on it, zoom in and see what it says. Draw X card, so just one, otherwise it would have like a number next to it for the X. Uh, this is the activation cost, cost for activating the card, barred resources will be removed from your deck. So this means that we just only uh, use wood, we, we're not removing wood. So we'll get it back in our stock. We're not losing it from our deck in our hand. Activation effect, uh, you're, you're, you trigger this effect by paying the activation cost. We draw X number of cards. Uh, cost to pay to add this card to my hand from the idea bar is this. And we, we get the idea. Activating card will use or consume a, a resource. So just consumption and use, removing and using. There are also cards that are activated by consuming themselves, like this one. Zoom in on the second idea card and we'll find out. So in order to get the supplies card, we have to spend, uh, we have to remove two food cards from our deck entirely permanently. And then by burning this card, we get full resource or fatigue cards randomly. So this is going to be kind of like from, outside the deck we're, we're going to gain um, four brand new cards and at random they're going to be the resource cards like food or material or survivors or it's going to be fatigue cards we don't want fatigue cards because they're going to reduce the maximum size of our deck basically all right you use the activated effect of a card by clicking on the bottom of, bottom of the card and you use the basic effect by clicking on the top of the card i think it already said that didn't it uh, try to buy an idea card and use this activated effect. Note the difference between when you remove a resource, it quits your deck, <laughs> and using it, it stays in your deck. All right. So we're going to give away two food to grab that. We're going to put the other food toward our regional requirement. We'll give away... Uh, for now, we'll have our survivor also work on what the region requires us to do right now. Take this fire card, uh, burn the supplies card, use the wood on... Oh, wait. You now have the basic knowledge needed to play Frost. You can find additional instructions in the options screen or press escape or click the you know question mark button over here. All right, great. You can try to finish this game or start a new one by going back to the main menu in the options screen. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck to you too. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Alright, so here's what I can do. What I can do is... Um, 
I don't need to use this fire card right now. There's really no need because it doesn't give me brand new cards and only draws from my current deck. So we're going to fulfill the regional re uh, requirement. Actually, yeah, damn, I can't. I don't have another weapon in my deck, do I? And I can't access my deck. Can I? Oh, oh I can. I can. I can see my graveyard. I didn't even know about this. It's a discard pile. That's my deck. I had no idea you could do this. This needs to be added to the tutorial that you can go down there. I've had like a whole playthrough of the game. And I didn't even know about that. Alright, we're going to travel. Let's see if we need to sacrifice a survivor or my health. We only have five survivors. It's okay though. Oh, oh god. Alright. Um... We have to deal with the wolf as well. We're gonna, we're gonna try to see if we can beat the tutorial or, you know, if we're gonna die here. And it's going to be basically my introduction episode here. Um, and if you guys really like it, if you really enjoy it, uh, if you if you like the art style and the play style, I would love to upload more episodes. In fact, I think I will upload another one uh, back to back. Just like, you know, to call this kind of like the intro episode and the other episode, like the intro and tutorial episode and the other episode would be like the actual first episode. Um, so what can we do? We can get the supplies bag, which I am all for because I have so much food. I still have five food left, even though I just completely burned away two food cards. Um, we're going to put away uh, our material for the regional requirements. Draw four brand new cards. We need a new fatigue card. It's okay. Um, a sling would be useful to kill the wolf. So we have to get the sling. But then, in order to actually use the sling, we have to lend a material for it. And then we can use that to kill the wolf. No, we're being chased by that bastard. We do have to end a turn. Um, we need more to fulfill the requirements. Again two food let's uh, draw one card and shit and turn oh yeah this is taking down so fast uh, we're gonna give should I give no I shouldn't give two food for f <sighs> two food for four new cards yeah fine let's do it we need another survivor I don't want to linger here for too long if I send my survivor for scavenging, he can only find another survivor at best. Otherwise, it's going to be resources or he's just going to find fatigue or might die. And that's not what I want to happen. So we're going to get rid of that. We do get our second survivor. That's perfect. Perfect. And we're going to travel on. And traveling increases your, your timer, like the game said. We need to find another weapon here. That This, this sucks. So we keep getting chased by wolves. Um, we have a lot of wood in our inventory. Um, I need more food, though. So we're going to send a sca uh, one of the survivors to scavenge more. Come on, get, find me one more food. Oh, we brought back with... We, we came back with just fatigue. Okay, so one food in here. And we have to end the turn. Back to down... Back down to five. Uh, still no food in my hand. We generally don't have a lot of food left in the deck. There's one. There we go. Give that to this. Um, we either have to sacrifice someone again, take the damage to my person. I... Ugh. This, this is awful. We're, we're gonna take it. There we go. Now here what I can do is I can have a, a survivor sacrifice, basically. Used up, removed for two food cards. But I don't know about that. That's a, that's a tough decision to make. What we're going to do, actually, is put this one food toward the supplies bag. And have the survivor go for... In fact, you know, I'm going to do this for the two food. There we go. And we're going to fulfill that. And we're going to get those food back. And we needed more food anyway. And hopefully we're going to find more survivors here. Somehow. We will. Um, let's put the wood into this fire and get the three cards drawn. Um, we can get the supplies bag. 
And... I have to end the turn. If I use this, I'm only going to get one card into my hand. And that's not going to be fun. What science is this? If I use this right now, is it going to give allow me to use it? Oh, it just adds to my to my hand. Okay. Man, we have a lot of wood. Which is great. Let's end a turn. Four turns to go. Kinda scary. Okay. Um We could try the supplies bag again to see if we get we can get more survivors, right? No, it's just resources or fatigues. Well, I, survivors are resource cards. Oh, look how, look how cool this girl looks. I really like the art style. Um, we're going to put this guy in here. We have to end. We don't have a choice. It's ticking down pretty quickly. Three turns to go. The frost is really catching up to us. Survivor in there. Um, let's hope for a survivor. Oh, man, why? Why? Okay, we're gonna travel away. There's actually, there's a chance that we can beat the tutorial. Which will be great for my first video. We'll put this in here, draw three more cards. We'll also... We'll, we're just gonna finish the requirement here for this region. Because we can, we're gonna send our last survivor out to scavenge for us. Hopefully you won't die. Anything else but death. Or fatigue. We already have enough fatigue cards in my deck. Jesus. It's the th third highest resource. Perfect. Okay. Travel on. Alright. What do we have here? So we can trade a person, a survivor. We can use them to get us... Just a 50% chance to get wood. How much wood? 50% chance to get one wood or 50% chance to get who knows how many wood? Jeez, that's, that's quite a lot of calculations. <laughs> um, goodie bag. Let's pop the goodie bag. It had two food cards in it. Survivor as well. Uh, and there was nothing else we could have done. Send a survivor out to find hopefully more survivors. Well, if I found more food, and we are ready to travel now. But yeah, I'll just keep that like that. All right, let's travel. Only five distances to go, or five more regions to go, and we have five. We're five steps ahead from the, the frost as well. Um. We have the spear from before. We're going to use that to kill the wolf. No fear whatsoever. Survivor for the regional requirements. And a turn. Oh. Food. I have to end the turn again. These fatigue cards are getting me so bad. I have to rest. You know what? We got to we got to we got to rest after this. We have to prioritize resting now. If it's possible, which I think is possible, when I need to do it. I, I don't need to rest right now because we don't have any fatigue cards in my hand. Um, and I can actually finish requirements for this region without any fear. Boom, boom. Travel. We're going to have to sacrifice one of our survivors. Fortunately, I have a survivor to sacrifice. Uh, and I have enough to fulfill the regional requirements. We're gonna travel away. I think there's a real chance we can be the tutorial. Um, uh, this, this, there's like nothing I can do here. Let's just rest and put this food in here. Let's. Pop the bag. We do get a survivor. One more food in here. Um, put the survivor in here. And end the turn. Let's see what we get. We still have so many turns. We are so... We're, we're safe. We're fine. Still totally safe and sound and secure. Nothing to fear. We get more supplies. We're going to travel on. I think this is the final region to clear. 
And I don't, I, I highly doubt that anything can kill me right now. So what I'm going to do is put uh, the click the rest button because then we can get rid of three fatigue cards out of six in my entire deck. <laughs> Woo! That's one efficient rest. Survivor goes in there. You use it to wood. Send the last survivor in hopes of finding food. Perfect. Done. Nope. Don't even need to bleed. We got it. Congratulations. Alright. I get two new cards and one brand new con contest event, basically. So there's a brand new card available in the entire game. Two brand new cards available that were not before. The Tinkerer, where you give away, you remove a food and a survivor. And you can either find a survivor with it, or you can lose another food for 3 times 50% chance of getting materials. It's a lot of complications, a lot of like different things that need to happen to get the card, activate the card, and then the chances of it actually working in my favor. Pre pretty unique. Um, could be handy in, in very specific situations. Uh, there's also Explorer, where you, you do the same thing. You give a uh, supply, uh, a, a food, and a survivor. Either to get a survivor, or to use another food to... Uh, no, 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 no. I wanted to uh, look at the other card. But you can, you can then you can actually look ahead at the next two events or the next two regions and decide which one you want to go to. But for now, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned how to play the game. I hope you actually go and buy it because I think it's a really fun game the time that I had with it. And uh, if you did like the episode and like the game, leave a like on my video, press the thumbs up button, and subscribe for more uh, future videos in general. And if, if you actually want to see more of this as well, please leave it down in the comments below that you're interested in seeing more of this. And as always, thank you very much for your time and attention. And also thank you, um, Jerome, for giving me a key for the game to check it out and put it on my channel. And as always, guys, like I said, thanks for your time and attention. I'll see you guys later.